Welcome to My View from the Woods. In today's episode, I want to talk about state and local taxes and how it pertains to homesteading. Welcome to my view from the woods. I thought I'd take you along on my walk this morning in the Camillus Highlands. As you can see from the opening, it's sort of a lowland, goes into uh, pastured fields and then into these uh, bigger woods here. As you can see, it's about 20 degrees out. There's still a lot of snow on the ground. One of the reasons I want to move out of central New York. Not because I don't like snow, because I don't particularly like snow this late in March and we're forecast for more snow this weekend. It's just, I've always grown, lived up here, but I really want to be in a place that's warmer. If you don't know my journey, I live in central New York, in Syracuse area, and I'm looking to build a homestead. I really want to move somewhere that's a little bit warmer. I live in zone 5B. I'd really like to move down to at least 6 or 7. And um, I also, along with this YouTube channel, I also have a blog where I'm documenting this journey. I picked out nine states that I want to live in. Those states are Tennessee, North Carolina, Arkansas, Missouri, Idaho, Washington, North Carolina, and West Virginia. I think that's nine. Nah, I forgot one. Did I say Missouri? There's nine in total. You can go to the blog if you want to see them all. And I've decided this on several factors. One, obviously the climate we talked about. Two, I don't want to live in a place that's really dry. I want, I know I'm being picky here, but I want between 40 and 55 inches of rain or precipitation a year. I don't really, I've always had water around me. Central New York is just completely full of water. We get about 38 to 42 inches of rain a year. And um, I like not having to hunt and work for water. So I really want a place that, that has considerable amount of rainfall. And taxes is also a consideration. And that's what this video is about, taxes. Um, I want my money to go as far as I can as I get older. And I really want as much money that I can earn to stay with me and my family. And I know taxes are important. I live in central New York. It's the snowiest major city in the world. Uh, not in the world, sorry, in the country. And we get 130 to 140 inches a year. And it's not uncommon to get snow dumps of 12 to 18 inches. What I do like about central New York, and this has to go right along with taxes, and why they're so high, is that we can have snow of a foot. The next morning, I can drive 70 miles an hour on the road. They know how to take care of snow, and that costs money. I realize that, but that doesn't mean I can't move someplace that doesn't get a foot of snow. So taxes are a big part of it, and that's again what this blog's about. I've done a lot of research, and you can go to my blog. It's myviewfromthewoods.com. I wrote several blog posts. I'm going to write four more on each each of the states that I've, I've chosen. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about today: is um, the states I've chosen and why I chose them based on the taxes. So those nine states, I've narrowed my choices down to four: Tennessee. North Carolina, West Virginia, and Kentucky. They have about the lowest taxes of the states that I'm interested in. Tennessee is second. And I looked at state taxes, I looked at local taxes as much as I could, not knowing what counties I wanted to live in, and I looked at sales tax and property taxes. And obviously state income tax, so I didn't already say that. And it's a mess. Right? They don't really want you to figure out what your tax will be, and it really depends on what town you live in. There's a whole bunch of factors when you're looking at the state level. But what I did find was something very interesting. It's called Tax Freedom Day. Tax Freedom Day is the amount of time that you have to work through the year to pay all your tax debt. That's federal, state, local, all of it. And the 
lowest state, let me get my notes right, I think it's Mississippi, yes, the lowest is Mississippi. But you still have to work to April 1st, every day from January 1st to April 1st to pay off your taxes for the year. The second is Tennessee, one of the states I want to live in. The worst, well, the 48th is New York where I live. The worst is Connecticut, New Jersey I think is 49th. If you want to see that whole list and how your state racks up, just go to my blog, again, myviewfromthewoods.com, and I'll leave a link below to that blog that talks about Tax Freedom Day, state, local, sales, and property taxes. So a little bit more on the Tax Freedom Day. Again, it's including federal, state, all your taxes for the year. Again, the lowest was Mississippi, April 1st, so you have to work three whole months to pay off your taxes in Mississippi. The worst was Connecticut, and that was May 21st. So you had to work almost a month and two-thirds more than you would in Mississippi to pay your taxes. That's a lot. New York, where I live, is 48th. No surprise there. It's pretty expensive here for taxes. Love the area. Love the topography. Could be a little warmer. Today, it, it's like 20. Like, no. I see a lot of you down there. You got peaches growing already. We don't even have buds on the trees. So you can see where I'm a little bit jealous. I just do want to move a little bit further south. Um, I want some elevation. I do want snow. I have no problem with snow. I have no problem with colder temperatures. I just want less. Less cold temperatures and less time as a cold temperature. I'd like to extend my spring and my fall seasons by a month each way. It would be really nice to go outside and get some things done. So if you look at my, the states that I picked and the taxes, Tennessee is definitely it's the second lowest, um, it's, and it has no state sales tax. But you have to be careful there because they don't tax wages, but they do tax dividends. So I have to look into that a little bit more and how I'm going to earn my money. Um, North Carolina ranks like 19th, but I still like North Carolina. Again, it, it's the area I like. I've seen, I've been to North Carolina, I've been to Western North Carolina in the mountains. I've seen them, I like them. Um, so it's still in the running and what I did find is that when I finally and there's another blog post on my on my blog on my website that goes into that goes down into the county level and there are several counties in North Carolina where the tax rate is uh, less than 0.6 percent and that was my criteria so I took these four states I overlaid climate precipitation and topography on a map I chose the counties that met all three of those criteria and then I looked, I found a website that could figure out what the local property taxes are. So I picked the counties that I liked, I went and looked at their tax rates, and then I picked from that list the counties that are less than 0.6% property tax. From there I made another spreadsheet, and this is in another blog, and it's on the website. Again, I'll link it below, where I listed what I think my income's going to be, um, what I think my property value will eventually be and how much money I'm going to spend. But since I'm, since I'm building a, a homestead, I know I'm going to be spending a lot of money for materials. So the sales tax is very important. So Tennessee has no state tax, but they have the highest sales tax. I think it's 9.46%. So factors like that can really matter when you're trying to find a place to live. As it turned out, that state income tax is very important unless I'm getting my, my, unless I'm getting my income from dividends. Um, because it saved thousand or thousand like seventeen hundred dollars over most of the other states because they had no state sales tax. So Tennessee is on my primary list. I did pick the North Carolina and I am going in Asheville at the end of April and I've taken a couple extra days I am going to take a look at some land in North Carolina and Tennessee during that trip. So and I have called some land brokers although they're not too interested in talking to me because I'm looking to buy raw land under $20,000 and obviously it's not really worth their time or commissions to help me too much. So I, I need your help if you know of any property land, any land that's for sale, uh, raw land or abandoned houses or abandoned barns, I'd be interested in hearing from you. Um, I think that's what it's going to take. I think it's going to take a lot of networking to actually find a good place to live. So I, I do need your help. But back to the taxes. So I made this spreadsheet and I made some estimates on what my income was. I think my income I put was $30,000 as wages. Um, that won't necessarily be labor wages, but it'll probably be affiliate sales and um, other sales that I have on my websites. I put down $20,000 worth of sales tax since I would probably be building a homestead and spending a lot of money. 
and then I put my value of my land at 80k. It probably won't be worth that much when I first start, but eventually as I build onto it, I'm assuming my assessment will go up. That's another thing you need to look into is each county is look at the assessments. But again, if you don't live in those states, you need some place to start searching. And, th and that's what I've done. So I'm going to look for land in these certain counties. When I find something I like, then I'll take a look at the county taxes. I'll take a look at the township. I'll take a look and see how they assess their houses and what the median house values are around the area, and then, then make my decisions from there. So I just wanted to give you a heads up that if you're interested in how your state ranks um, amongst the other states for, for sales tax, property tax, and income tax, um, I've got some blog posts. They have tables and charts on there I think you'd be interested in looking at. The links are below in the description. Please take a look. I'd be very interested in knowing how you found the land that you're homesteading on. Did you live in that state? Did you know about it? Did a friend or family um, give you a clue on, where, on some land? Did you look on Craigslist? Did you go through a broker? Did you go through a realtor? How did you find the land that you're homesteading on? Please leave a comment below. I'd really like to know, especially if you didn't live in that state to begin with. Please like, share, and comment. I really want to hear your opinions on the taxes in the states you live in and, and what your experiences are. I'm, I'm going on this journey and I, I do need your help, especially you that, especially you that have homesteads um, in places that you like. You know, let me know what you think about your taxes, how they're assessed. Um, any information I, I really would love to hear from you. So please give me a comment below. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you.